How to use ChatGPT on WhatsApp to get responses just like this. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Josh No Code. I'm Josh Jackson, and today I'll be showing you how to set up ChatGPT on WhatsApp. But before we jump into it, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. For this automation, you're going to need to have a WhatsApp business account, and you'll also need a Zapier account. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Zapier, it's a no-code tool that allows you to create automated workflows with all of your favorite apps. In Zapier, these automated workflows are called Zaps. Because Zapier does not support the WhatsApp app directly, we're going to be leveraging a service called Waztel. Waztel is an omni-channel customer communication platform, and because it's already integrated with the WhatsApp API, you can use it to send and receive WhatsApp business messages. And the Waztel app is supported by Zapier, so we can use their WhatsApp trigger and action events in our Zaps. Waztel is completely free to use up to 100 monthly active users, and you can always upgrade to a paid plan if you're handling a larger volume of contacts. So here's the zap we're going to create. First, the zap will trigger when your WhatsApp business account in Waztel receives a new message. Second, Zapier will take that message and send it to OpenAI to generate a completion. And finally, Zapier will take the completion and send it back uh, to the contact from your Waztel WhatsApp business account. It's a simple three-step zap and you can use it as a framework to build out your use case. Hey guys, so here we are in Waztail looking at our dashboard and to add a new or existing WhatsApp business account, simply head on over to channels and you can see here that I already have my WhatsApp business account added uh, to Waztail. So uh, to add yours, just click on the new channels button and uh, you'll see some apps here but uh, because we're working with WhatsApp, just click on the next button that's right next to the WhatsApp logo and then click on create channel. You need to give your channel a name and description. So we're just gonna do test, test one, two, three, and then click on confirm. So this is going to create a channel. The channel is given a unique ID and the next part of the process is setting up your WhatsApp business account. Um, it allows you to create a new WhatsApp business account, or you can use an existing WhatsApp business account. So that's what this part of the process is all about. Uh, and you just need to click on the start setup button. Um, you have to log into Facebook in some part of the process. And um, that's basically it. Uh, when you're done doing that, basically just return to channels and you'll see that your channel has been created and um, it should have this uh, little inbox, uh, I guess you'd call it rectangle with icon in it, um, when WhatsApp is successfully connected. And that's all you really need to do here. So here we are in Zapier. We just created a new Zap. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our trigger. So uh, go ahead and search for the Waztel app. And um, then you need to select an event. You'll see four options here. And we want to add new WhatsApp message. So this is gonna trigger the Zap when a WhatsApp message is received or sent from the mentioned WhatsApp phone number. So go ahead and click on that. And uh, then you need to so basically add your Waztel account to Zapier. So we already have our Waztel account added. Uh, but if you're doing this for the first time, you would see a sign in button and you'd click on that. It would open up a new window um, and you would just sign into Waztail using your email and password. It's pretty simple. Um, so the next thing you need to do is you need to select your Waztail channel. And this is the channel that you just created in Waztail. So click here, you'll see your Waztail channel. And as you can see here, uh, this is my WhatsApp business phone number. So we'll click that. And for channel environments, there's only really one option that's default. Um, and then for a triggered message, we want this to trigger upon 
um, in receiving an inbound message. So someone sends a message to, um, you know, the specified WhatsApp business account, and that's what's going to trigger this zap. So um, just an important note here before you test this step out, make sure that um, from a different WhatsApp account, from the contact account, you send a message to the um, to to your WhatsApp business account. So if I were testing this out, I would you know go say from my personal WhatsApp account and I would send a message to uh, my WhatsApp business account. I would send it to 516-540-7849. Um, so that's just sending a test message um, so that it goes through Waztail and that Zapier can basically detect uh, the trigger event. So go ahead and test that out. It's testing to see what recent messages have come through. And you can see here that um, it just found a recent message in Waztail. And you can see here's um, the phone number. So this obviously personal phone number here. And here is the message. It just said, hey, Josh. So that's it. That's really all you need. Um, we're just going to actually be using two things here. We're going to be using the, the message and we're going to be using the phone number. So that's basically it. So the next thing you need to do here is you want to add uh, chat GPT and there's only one event um, and that's just conversation. So uh, this is basically just going to send a chat to open AI, open AI to generate a completion. It's going to store the message as you go. Um, so we already have our account added with, um, with OpenAI. So that's basically, um, that's already done. And for the user message, really, this is where you're inserting the, you know, body of data into, um, into this field. So basically we want to just add, um, we want to map the text, data text, hey Josh, we want to add that into user message. Um, and if you had any sort of specific prompt um, to make your output response more specific, um, that's where you, this is where you would take the opportunity to do that. So everything you're doing in ChatGPT, um, obviously outside of Zapier uh, to create your prompts, you would basically add that into user message. And um, there's some other things obviously you could do here. You could um, change the username, you can give, um, change the name of the assistant, and um, you can give the assistant instructions. So basically give it a persona, tell it who it is and what it's good at and that sort of thing. Um, and for this tutorial, you don't need to play around with these settings. Um, you can do that, um, I guess, offline, but uh, just to make, the basic zap automation work. You just need to map um, the data text from um, Waztail, the Waztail trigger step over to user message. And that is basically it. It's going to generate a response. So let's go ahead and test it. Cool. So we could see we have an output response here. It's basically saying, hello, how may I assist you? So um, that's basically the response is what we want to send back to WhatsApp. So we're going to add another action step here and we're just gonna add um, finally another Waztail step. So uh, for this action step, you see some, see some options here and just go ahead and select uh, send WhatsApp ses session message. So this is gonna send a ses session message via WhatsApp. Um, your customer will receive this message um, if they contact you uh, on the previous 24 hours. Um, and yeah, it's basically saying that, you know, you can send text, images, videos, audio files, stickers, and locations and things like that. Um, so go ahead and click that. We have the Waztail account already added. Uh, for channel, we're just gonna select the same channel. This is just the main WhatsApp business account. Customer phone number. Um, so basically we're gonna grab the customer phone number from the from field. This is the contacts phone number. 
And then for message type, we're going to specify that this is text. It also gives us the option to do image, video, audio, file, sticker, contact, location, um, and a few more options here. But um, just go ahead and click on text. So uh, for message, we're just going to take the, um, the history content, and this was the response that we got from ChatGPT. Hey, Josh, hello, how may I assist you? Now, once you have that, go ahead and test it out. And we literally just received a WhatsApp message. So this was the WhatsApp message that we, we received. You could see, hey, Josh, hello, how may I assist you? So we know that um, this step, this final step is working. So once you confirm that this is all working, uh, just go ahead and publish the zap. So now that it's published, let's run a few tests. So now that our zap is live, let's run a few tests. And the first thing we're gonna ask ChatGPT is, should I incorporate my business as an LLC or C Corp? Please list out the pros and cons of both options and bullet points, and we wanna limit the response to 100 words. Here's our response, and for the LLC, uh, the pros are, limited personal liability for business debts and lawsuits. Uh, an LLC also offers pass-through taxation. It offers a flexible management structure and fewer formalities and paperwork than a C-Corp. Uh, the cons of an LLC, lack of prestige compared to a C-Corp, limited ability to raise funds through public offerings, and owners must pay self-employment taxes on all income. Uh, the pros of a C-Corp, limited personal liability for business debts and la lawsuits, ability to raise funds through public offerings, and it's attractive to investors due to potential for stock ownership and dividends. And it also can offer um, employee stock options. As far as cons, uh, there's double taxation, uh, more complex and expensive to set up and maintain, and there's more formalities requirement required. Uh, you have quarterly meetings and annual shareholder meetings. So this is a very detailed response. The next thing that we're going to ask ChatGPT to do is write a random a program for a random password generator in JavaScript and a button in HTML to trigger the workflow. Okay, so here is our code for the random password generator. Uh, this is our JavaScript, and uh, it provides a little description about what the program does. So it's gonna generate a random password of a given length, consisting of both uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Uh, if we scroll below, we can see this is our HTML, and um, the code is going to generate a password length of 12 and display it in an alert window when the button is clicked. So we're actually gonna visualize this code. So I'm gonna go and copy this JavaScript and we're gonna use this tool called codepen.io which allows us to visualize our um, UI elements um, uh, from our code. And you can see here we could add our HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's add our JavaScript here and next, let's add the HTML. So I'm just going to copy, uh, sorry, copy this HTML right here. And I'm going to paste it. And here we have our random password generator. Here's the um, UI element. And I'm just going to click on the generate password button. And as you can see here, uh, the program generated a random password. I'm going to click it again completely different password. Let's do it one more time. And here is another completely random password. So um, you could literally now code through WhatsApp um, 
through written words, and you could use this program to visualize the UI elements. All right, and the last thing we're gonna ask ChatGPT to do is to give us uh, three strategies that can help make videos go viral on YouTube. We're gonna limit the response to 100 words. All right, uh, so we just got our response. Uh, basically, it's saying the first strategy is to create high quality content that is unique, engaging, and visually appealing. Um, and it should include storytelling, humor, emotional appeal, or providing valuable information. Uh, the second strategy, optimize videos for search engine by using relevant keywords, tags, and descriptions. And that's gonna ensure that our videos are more discoverable online. And the third strategy is to promote our videos on social media platforms, blogs, and websites that cater to our target audience. And that's gonna help us build a community and increase our visibility online. Um, being consistent is very important. So we gotta to continue to upload content consistently uh, and engage with our audience. So that's gonna help our channel uh, go viral. So as you can see here, the responses were incredibly detailed and the experience itself feels like you're interacting with ChatGPT on the OpenAI platform, but you're not. You're uh, sending messages to this WhatsApp business account and you're receiving these responses back from it. And really behind the scenes, um, this is all ChatGPT. So as you can imagine, this application is gonna have tremendous benefits for all types of businesses. And it's gonna have benefits for freelancers, um, small business owners, anybody who's running a side hustle, because um, now you can streamline the customer inquiry process and you'll be able to build out custom chatbot applications that understand your business inside and out and how to effectively respond to questions. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what types of applications people build out here. Guys, if you have a question about today's tutorial, make sure to drop it in the comment section. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm so more people just like you can find this video. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on to follow more of my content on business process automation hacks. I'm constantly posting new videos. So if you have an idea for a tutorial, something you'd like to see, I'd love to hear about it. So drop it in the comments section. So with that said, thanks so much for tuning in and I will catch you guys next time.